Hey everybody, Ken Krushka here. I'm waiting on a Turatella shell to dry, so I thought I'd just do a quick video. Um, after I got it out of its matrix, you know, I, I uh, put uh, contour putty. I mean, it's there's, I'm keeping the matrix to hold its form, of course. I'm not going inside it, but it's, you know, it's worn through here, so that's all matrix. I used contour putty testers uh, here and here just to kind of finish it off. That's drying. I still want to go around the shell in its uh, spire grooves. They said these things would tell you which way the stream was pointing when the shell died. So this, the water must have been going, I figured this out right there, since that was there, the water must have been going that way, the current. But uh, yeah, contour putty, I mean, it's fine. Uh, it's not going to be, uh, you know, a perfect piece or anything but um, I wanted to show a few things anyway while I'm waiting for that to dry so here you don't need an air scribe all that talk is silly uh, I do I got a couple hobbies like everybody and this is a Dremel tool but not everybody's aware perhaps of other options of a Dremel tool so here you have what is a handheld Part, you put your you got two different collet choice sizes that come with this Wen brand. It's like I think I got this for 23 bucks and free shipping. Variable speed motor. Um, I ha you know you hang it up and you can get in places that you can't if you're just holding the Dremel without this on it. Um, you can't get in things like like a typewriter on a say you want to get to a segment on a Underwood number five or something at the block and file down all the grooves you can get in there with this and do that um, don't use the wrong stone of course use that red colored red brown colored one that's for metal uh, don't use the green one but I hang this up here I've got a uh, let me let me hang this and I'll show you there. and that allows you to get That's a piece of parachute cable holding that up, and it's tied onto a hook. And that allows me to use it here, and then I can just hang this back up out of the way. Uh, most of these lights I got came from a resale shop. That one, um, this one, this lamp, this one. Uh, now, anyway, I went to Hobby Lobby today, and... I was just looking at things and other purposes. They have this jewelry storage container for $1.99. It has all these pockets. It's, it's huge. It's almost the size of like an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. $1.99. You could pay more to store stuff in a smaller box. Um, they had this artist's portfolio. It's 8 uh, by 14. I think, or no, 11 by 14, and one of my hobbies is collecting old patents. Well, I never, I had to only put them in, like, plastic bags and tilted them up behind a vodka bottle till now. So now, I can uh, put them all in here, and I have room for growth. So, that was kind of cool. Uh, with, with my toolbox, uh, it's really just an old jewelry storage chest, and I'll, I'll open it up and I'll show you about the place, but... Um, with that shell, anyway, I wanted to say, you know, when I get done with it, like this, uh, uh, brachiopod, see how it's shiny and clean and everything? So when I get done and I, co and I cover them in, um, paleo bond, you know, that's that, uh, penetrant stabilizer. You've also, if you crack something like a fossil, you got the, uh, structural adhesive and, then I go over it, after that's dried, I go over it over here with uh, Krylon Color Master Clear Non-Yellowing. This is a infrared heater, not a radiant heater, like uh, like the oil-cooled type, uh, oil-filled ones. This is infrared, so it only, the heat goes into everything, if you will, like keeps things at whatever temperature versus constantly running. Okay, let me get this on here. 
So under there you'll see a shelf, uh, not a shelf, a space. In that space, you can put like your vinegar. Vinegar is good for shells, and a pan and store your stuff in it. And you can just tilt the bottle and it'll fit up under there. Water. Um, on the side there, I had mounted a soap dish thing that I bought at Walmart that holds bottles like Paleo Bond good. Let's get this typewriter. That typewriter I devoted to making labels for specimens. So um, you know it's going to get full of full of dust and stuff, but it needs to be out and making them. So I didn't pick my best one for this job. Uh, so this jewelry box was like $9.99 at Goodwill. I tore all the stuff out of here that rings would have st stood in. A few uh, cubic zirconia jumped out actually. Yeah, but they were able to scratch glass and I thought, oh boy, are they real, you know? Uh, so, so all these slats can be cracked out if you need to take them out. Um, here I was able to hang paint brushes. Those chain, that's, rope is where chains would hang behind, but, yeah, let's get that one off, but I got new masks behind there. That's how much dust I inhaled, I don't know if you can see the black spot, in just a few seconds of using this, there's a shitload of three, you know, 30 million year old dust you're going to be contending with, so do get masks. Okay, now like it. Like I was saying, I, I cracked out spots that I needed stuff, so like here's just wood chisels, um, but you know, they're good for dealing with uh, ma the matrix, the uh, fossils in. Some picks, this is from uh, putty, uh, you know, putty carving knives and things, uh, clay sculpting, that's what I'm thinking of. Okay, this is a hand chisel for woodwork and stuff. I don't. This is not a rock chisel, though, as far as I know. This is a pottery sculpting stuff. This isn't. This is just a you know, little pick I made. Got some brushes here. Hobby Lobby sells a boatload of stuff, though. I mean, they'll sell this uh, 120, 150 uh, diamond burr set. They'll sell it for 16.99 for one thing, though. So you might want to order that off the internet. Uh, this stuff, you know, $1.99, the three brush set, brass, brass bristled, and so forth. This is rock chisels here. This is a uh, 10-piece stone carving knives is what they call them by Woodpecker brand. I'm not sure what the PM420 is, but uh, they're nice. They're wrapped in a, a string, so you got something to hold, and you can wrap on the back with your hammer and chisel well, like like that turtillus shell that I did I chiseled it out here you got a drawer I got the ice pick um, some other scrapers a couple exacto knives old ice pick put it back into the rotation of things now then I got my guide to fossils book right there there's a space you can store smaller hammers eye magnifier you don't wear these as safety goggles this is just you know, I think I got this for eight dollars and some cents. Five piece lenses, you got the little light, LED light. Nice nice magnifiers. Oh, up in the top was my uh regular magnifying glass and my jeweler's loop thing. I forgot to show that little magnifier there. My Marlin spike knife. Smaller hammers. Okay. This is a geologist hammer. Uh, chisel and spike. Um, this is, uh, of course, a rock hound. And then some other smaller hammers. So, I like that ball peen hammer is good for the chisel, though, for the stone carving. And then here are bigger hammers and some bags. So it's a, it works. It's a, just a bench, uh, bench toolbox you know, made out of an old jewelry box for nothing. Got it at Goodwill for ten bucks, you know, less than nine ninety nine. Got my ruler. So inconspicuous and uh cheap. Alright everybody, I'm gonna get going on this. Should be dry enough. Have a good day. Have fun.